The National Meteorological Service of Belize plays a crucial role in Belize's climate change response and adaptation measures. As climate change continues to impact the planet, including Belize, accurate and timely meteorological information becomes increasingly vital for effective planning, preparedness, and adaptation strategies. We have a network of observation um, stations across the country that collects different variables such as rainfall, humidity, temperature, and these information we use to assess any trends that may have occurred since our um, inception of those stations. Climate change has contributed to more frequent and intense hurricanes in the Caribbean region. Periodic droughts have intensified and changes in rainfall patterns and increased evaporation rates have disrupted water availability for agriculture, communities and ecosystems. And the experts at the National Meteorological Service of Belize use tools and technologies for data collection and analysis for better preparation planning. Every month, those information, if it's from the manual stations, are sent to the Met Office where we do quality control and validate the information. From our automatic weather stations that are um, across the country, those information are collected every five minutes and transmitted to the office into our database every 15 minutes. We do have automatic quality control system in place that is being um, updated. And when these information are collected and validated, we do different types of analysis and produce different summaries and reports on a monthly basis and also on longer time series. And keeping on top of things is crucial to what the National Meteorological Service of Belize does. The information that we collect are fed into global models, whether it's climate or weather models. And those are what are used to determine the different levels and impacts of climate change, both locally in Belize and also um, globally across the world. So our data collection um, and validation process is very important. And in order for us to determine whether or not the climate is changing in Belize, we need good quality data. Monitoring and analyzing climate data is a fundamental aspect of an understanding and responding to the impacts of climate change. The National Meteorological Service of Belize operates 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and 365 days a year. Whether it's a hurricane or excess rainfall, we are always here monitoring. We have different tools like the radar and global models. And most recently, we are in the process of implementing CAP, the Common Alerting Protocol, which will be a tool that we will use to get out the information quicker to the public, especially when it comes to um, an emergency or a hazard such as a hurricane that is approaching or extreme rainfall or thunderstorms that may affect a particular area of the country. The National Meteorological Service of Belize takes proactive measures to forecast weather events and prepare for their impact. These measures include the establishment of early warning systems, development of evacuation plans, coordination with emergency response teams, and continuous monitoring of weather conditions. One of the fundamental tools that we can use to adapt to climate change is the data collection. We are collecting and validating, but also looking at ways to explore and analyze those data that we have collected over the past and come up with more meaningful products that can be used by decision makers, but also those that work or are on the ground on a regular basis dealing with the different impacts that can be attributed to climate change, but also climate variability. Meteorology plays a vital role in helping Belizean communities become more resilient to climate change. By providing crucial information and insights, Meteorological data enables community to understand climate change, anticipate weather-related risks, and make informed decisions. During our um, National Climate Outlook forums that we post at least once a year, we will gather stakeholders from different sectors that are very climate sensitive. We give them advanced information that they can help to use the plan and prepare for any of the climate extremes that are possible um, during six months or on longer time scales. Adequate funding is crucial to support initiatives such as infrastructure improvements, community resilience programs, and capacity building efforts. As SIDS and small island countries, we are the most vulnerable, yet, yet we are the persons that contribute the least to climate change. So the developed countries and those that are major players that are contributing to the human cause climate change need to provide support and help us to mitigate and also adapt to the future and also current issues that we are facing as a result of climate change. There are several tools, there are several technologies that are available, but the climate finance and also the access to these tools and technologies and funding is very limited in our region. Belizeans can take various actions to reduce their carbon footprint and contribute to building resilience against climate change. Reduce your energy consumption. Up for eco-friendly transportation whenever possible. Practice responsible water usage. 
recycle, reduce, and reuse, and most importantly, support the National Meteorological Service of Belize.